been such a long week that he's not even sure how our dog's alive. Standing there bleeding. Tino has been there through our entire marriage. Good morning, friends. Uh, wow, it's still morning. It feels like it's literally been an entire day since I've been awake. Um, where do I even start? I'm looking crazy and I'm feeling nauseous. Um, I'm really hoping that I'm not on the receiving end of this sickness. It's been such a long week. Um, but I'm feeling really dizzy and like just kind of lightheaded and nauseous but I don't know if it's because I feel like I didn't sleep very well or because I'm getting sick so we'll see but I really need to get my house back in order like the whole place is an actual disaster um so that was gonna be the plan today sorry the camera's moving so much little mess over here is <laughs> knocking my arm around um but anyway it feels really good in this room it's nice and chilly but hi what you doing? What's this? It's your glasses. It's pink? Yeah. You didn't know that? Didn't you know that? It's not pink. It is pink. Anyway, um, I have lots of laundry to catch up on, but I just finished with our grocery order. I was like, <laughs> I was, we're trying to save money each month. We're trying to like really kind of focus on budgeting better. Um, yeah. Anyway, so I was like, I need to go grocery shopping, but I definitely don't want to spread the plague to the whole world. Um, so, go comp, go store. Yeah. So I was like, how do I get the things that I need without you. spreading the sickness everywhere? You. And where, yeah, they're gonna probably go with us to pick it up, or maybe Daddy will be home in time. Yeah. But anyway. Dad's coming. Too. Yeah, let mommy talk, okay? Let's go to store too. Well, he might stay here with you, okay? You have really pretty eyelashes. I'll go store. You do? You want to go? Yes. Maybe you can ride with me to the store, and then Daddy can stay here with the boys. You think? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, so um, a Walmart marketplace just opened up in the town, like next to us. So. Why does she do this to me? Anyway, so Walmart marketplace just opened up in the town next to us. So I was like. They do free pickup. They don't charge you extra. And then in the same town, there's like a Kroger marketplace. And so I went on both of their sites because I've done Kroger Clicklist before. But, um, like, I just wanted to see the difference in their prices and stuff. Y'all, Walmart won by, like, a landslide. I was typing in to each side, to each site, like, what I needed and comparing the prices. And, oh, my gosh. Walmart won and almost every single item that I needed. I did end up getting a few things from Kroger that I just could only get there. I'm sorry. I'm really trying not to be sick right now. Um, but yeah, it was really cool. So I need to go. It's, the only thing that sucks about that is it's always a long time from the time you place your order to the time you go pick it up. I was hoping to go pick it up while Ben was at work, but... Um, it looks like I won't be able to go pick it up until, like, a 5 to 6 window. So, that's fine. It's just, like, that's in the middle of our, like, usual dinner time. And for the past five days, that's been during our kids get super sick for the daytime. So, hopefully, that's not the case. Oh, my gosh. Olivia, do you ever stop talking? Oh, my gosh. Do you stop talking ever? Yeah. Anyway. Um. They're great for the king. How is this? And all the kings, men, couldn't put Humpty together. together again. Oh, this vlog just took a totally different turn. Um, literally right after I ended the last clip, um, I went to plug my camera in and my phone rang and... And there was a man on the other end who said that he had just seen my dog get hit by a car. And um, there's like a really busy road right outside of our neighborhood. And uh, he said that he's not even sure how our dog's alive, that it was so bad. And so I immediately hung up and... Um, 
I called my neighbor. Well, I called Ben and I told him to come home from work. I called my neighbor because the boys were asleep and asked if he would come over because Kino had just gotten hit by a car and he needed to go get him. And he said that Kino was standing right outside of my door. So I opened the door. I already had like towels in my hand because I was preparing for the worst. Um, and if I seem like I'm not that upset, it's because I've literally been crying for the last three or four hours. <laughs> um, so I opened the door and it's raining outside and Kino's standing there bleeding from his forehead, from his mouth and his nose, and from his behind. I couldn't tell like where, and he wasn't really putting pressure on his back right leg. So, my neighbor came over, a cop showed up, who had followed Kino home to make sure he got home okay. Um, it's just such a whirlwind. So, Ryan stayed with the kids so that I could rush Kino to a vet. Um, I took him, and thank God, I mean, we don't have, like, an established vet here, um, because we've never had any issues we just have gotten his heart like heartworm medication and his uh, vaccines from a, another clinic but they're not like a vet clinic they're like a spay and neuter clinic so um they don't take wounded animals so i called them and they said they couldn't take him so I called every other vet clinic in the area nobody was answering the phone so i just picked the closest one that had the best reviews and took them there and they were closed for lunch but i think they saw me bawling my eyes out at the door so they let me in and they came and got him and um i just feel awful because i didn't even know he was outside we have a horrible fence like our fence is one that you can just push away from the ground and if any of you know anything about Siberian Huskies they just don't stay in a fence they will find a way out um so he literally I think Olivia must have let him outside because I didn't even know he was out there and uh it was raining so I obviously didn't let him out um but yeah he just pushes our fence away from the ground and just goes right underneath it it's something that we've been meaning to fix for a long time um and usually when he gets out he stays in our neighborhood but this time he went out of the neighborhood and um got hit by a car so um we got to the vet and i was just losing it uh ben left work and he met me over there and he uh he got there and they had already taken him back to check him out and apparently he has a laceration under his behind. Um, it looks like he either dislocated or did something bad to his back right leg because he wasn't putting any pressure on it. I mean, he would walk on it, but like when, if he was just standing, it was like he was holding it up. Um, he's bleeding from his mouth and his nose, so that's concerning because that could mean internal injuries. Um, has a cut on his forehead. And, uh, yeah, so they said that his heart and lungs sound good other than just being rapid because of obviously getting hit by a car. So we, uh, waited, we paid for everything. We waited, uh, they said it was going to be hours that they were going to have to, they wanted to wait for him to calm down so that they could sedate him and then they would do x-rays and they would suture up his wound on his backside. Um, the vet seemed optimistic about all of it. She said that she seems pretty optimistic but they won't know till they get x-rays done what they're dealing with. Um, it has literally just been the longest week ever between puke and poop and my dog getting hit and today I'm feeling sick and Jacob and Jameson started throwing up again. It's just been a week. So um, it's just been really stressful. Fussy, fussy babies. 
Hey guys, so it's the next day. Um, I just didn't pick the camera back up yesterday. I just couldn't. So um, I just got a phone call about Kino. Um, we got a phone call this morning. They said that he was perky this morning when they got there, that he seemed way better off than yesterday and that he, um, he got up and he was walking around. They took him outside and he didn't use the bathroom, um, but they weren't too worried. They drew some more blood and his white blood cell count was like elevated so they were afraid he might have an infection so they gave him an IV with um, an antibiotic they've been pushing fluids all day um, they just called me and said that they performed his surgery where they fixed his laceration on his backside um, and they said that he did really great that they performed x-rays and that everything internally looked really good they said that he did have like the teeny tiniest little she called it a fragmented fracture on one of his vertebrae, but she said that it was nothing significant. It was something that would heal on its own. Um, but she said that he's doing really, really good, that he's pretty doped up on pain meds and that he's just going to be very sore, obviously, for the next week or so. Um, but he gets to come home and I'm so excited. I'm t Keto has been there through our entire marriage. We got him a month and a half after we got married and he's been there through all of us living in California. He's been there through me and my dad and Kino going across country when Ben had to move to Texas for six months. He was with me for six months when I was just by myself without Ben. He's been there through everything and so the thought that he could have been gone and like ripped away from us so fast was just heartbreaking and terrifying so um yeah but yay we get to go pick him up around 4 30 today and i'm so excited so ready to get him home it's gross and rainy outside but it's not cold so that's nice we just got to the animal hospital to pick up kino so ben just ran inside to grab him and i'm hanging out with the kids in the car so hopefully this is a smooth transition are you excited to get kino yeah i'll go with him Go, go, too. Daddy went to get him. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi, buddy. Hold that. Careful. There we go. Oh, yeah, because that cone. Sit. Sit. Lay down. Lay down. Oh, Kino. Alright, lay down. Lay, lay down. down. Lay down. It's a rainbow. Wow. Alright, you guys. I know this has been a short and all over the place vlog, but I want to go ahead and end today's vlog because I am just not feeling good. It's uh, 9 o'clock and I am just feeling awful. So I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog and go to bed. Um, my stomach is killing me. I am trying really hard just to remain calm and not get sick, if you know what I mean. Um, so yeah, Kino's home. Um, well, technically he's across the street but he's at Ryan and Lauren's house they offered to let him stay at their house for the first couple of days just so that the kids don't bother him um like climbing on him and stuff he's doing really great he's up walking around he has to wear a big annoying cone which you guys saw um which he hates and he runs into literally everything <laughs> it's funny but it's also really sad it's hard not to laugh but it's not funny um but yeah, so we are really glad to have him home. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you liked what you saw. And hit the subscribe button if you want to become part of our web fam. And uh, be sure to click the little notification bell so you can get notified when we upload. We will see you in our next video. Bye.